Hello YouTube, so today we got a more interesting video and if I sound strange that because I bit my fucking tongue yesterday I just wanted to say that uh, So, new video uh, Over here you can see I got two different laptops This one is totally independent of this one I'll even show you the start menu You can see here that it is not the same computer. You can totally see it's two different ones. But you see, when I start this, and when I start uh, this, and enter in a little password, and press enter. Let's see what we got now. So let's open up another window. And this is useful. Because I'm using the same mouse. It kind of glitches. Like you can see it kind of glitches a little bit. But it does for the most part work extremely fine so let's launch HD Tone Pro and let's grab a error scan window let's put that over here plop it says and then it's over at this one now let's do a quick scan and this is scanning this one because this one is just acting as a monitor while you can do other shit on the computer like uh, going in into folders this one keeps scanning so that's a neat way to use two laptops I'll even show you that it is the same one scanning so what do you say about that YouTube? isn't this neat? what I used is a software called Zoom Screen. It's called Zoom Screen and then I used uh, their modified version of VNC. So with these two it's pretty nice and I have hidden the mouse cursor in this one so you can't see the mouse cursor uh, that you would have normally. This is kind of a glitch that this one shows up but it is fairly responsive with this thing can see it sort of glitches and then when you let go it takes this time it didn't take as long but if you launch Spotify that will really s make it sluggish so let's launch Spotify on this one it works perfectly fine updates fine but look when you let it go here thinking plop there it goes now you can scroll down and select the track you want to listen to but all these graphics that change make it slow as fuck and especially in full screen they affect it quite considerably but it does work so that's a cool feature and when it does that you can't really move the mouse but then you can move that over to this screen and uh, do other shit what I plan to use this for is uh, a cheap way to get around buying a screen right now because uh, the other screen broke and um, let's see here what I usually put on the screen is um, where do we get it uh, over here thinking so I usually keep X fire running over here and then I keep my working things over here and then I put uh, like MSN over there and such things and I forgot to so focus the camera no auto focus I need to tap the fucking thing to focus but 
No worries. Someone invites me to uh, add them as a friend. Uh, I don't know who that is, so no thank you. Uh, anyway, see ya. And if you want to use this as a regular computer, just press the Windows key and then you can go down here and uh, start any program you wish on this one. And this is running locally on this one, so you can't control the mouse. But I will do even better. Uh, I will install uh, a key KVM switch over uh, network, so I can use these two independently, and then I can just drag the mouse over, pop, and then we go on this one, and then we can go back on this one, but use the operating system and everything on the computers. So yeah, I just wanted to show you how to use two laptops for free as multi-monitor and to just show you I'm not faking this I will drag a couple of windows over so let's type something yay and then we can put that window in the middle yay that I love it, eh? I don't fucking love it. But the strange thing is, it does not allow uh, wallpapers. So you exit this and look at this one now. Bing! Here comes my apple. So this one, as far as this is concerned, the other computer is still connected as a screen, but you can't see it. So the way you get around that is you just deactivate screen number 3 when you don't uh, have a screen number 3 so I just wanted to show you that please subscribe YouTube and take care y'all